Hello and welcome back to How to Build Software Without Coding. I'm Mr. Hackathon. I show you how to build software without coding. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build a GBT with OpenAI. Hopefully you've heard the news already that OpenAI is allowing you to build custom GBTs for very specific use cases. We can see a couple examples here, although you can't create it in production quite yet. Uh, we can see examples with data analysis, uh, making games, helping people um, become great negotiators, and a couple others, all of these made by OpenAI and ChatGPT. If we demonstrate this one, custom versions of ChatGPT, we can ask this question, how do I make a version of Mojito? And we can see here that it's given us instructions on that and ingredients on how to make this. And so you can use this for a variety of use cases. I have started to make one here and in the one that I started to make in the playground, which is your opportunity to explore it before it actually goes into production. It recommends no code platforms to be able to build certain products. So you give it the specs for your product that you want to build and it tells you about what ones you could use. So here it says a Dalo or Glide or Appy Pi, and I've given it my budget. I've given it the level of customization that I want. I've given it um, additional information such as features. And this is really easy to make. So we're going to make a new one. What you're going to want to do is to create a, an account with OpenAI. I already have an account. Once you log in, it will bring you to this page where you want to go to API. And once you're on API, what you want to do is go to the assistance on the side. And this is what I already have one, but if we hit create, this is similar to what it would look like in actually creating your own custom GPT. So if I close that for now, sorry, I'm going to create my own assistant. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to give it a name, give it some instructions. We're going to work on that bit in the shortly, and you want to select a model. So this is the model I select. And it has some interesting features here. So you can call external APIs and we're, we're not going to do that. You can allow people to upload files. You can retrieve information from files that you have designated, uh, really bespoke data input. We're not going to do any of that for our particular uh, custom GPT. So I jumped over to ChatGPT to help me write instructions for my own GPT. And here I put, I'm making a chatbot assistant. I'm making a bot that needs to help people to find the appropriate university program at Harvard to study. Can you write a system instructions for the chatbot? I'm going to change this to degree. And what it's going to do is write some system instructions for my custom GPT. So you can see it's going ahead. It's probably going to write about seven potentially. So you can see this is, if this starts to become really, really interesting. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take this information and we're going to plug it into our custom GPT. So it's finished. And what I'm going to do is I am going to grab all of this and just going to hit copy. 
I'm going to go and to go to my assistants and I'm actually going to check out my previous assistant and how I structured this. Okay. And so I'm going to hit create again, Harvard, I'm going to name it Harvard degree advisor. And I'm going to paste my instructions here. And I'm going to put, uh, maybe I'm going to take a look again. Chatbot instructions for finding the right degree at Harvard to study. And I pasted that Harvard degree advisor. And it would be great to add additional files to be able to retrieve information. Maybe they could even upload maybe their transcripts and different types of information to really personalize it. But we're going to leave that all for now. We're going to hit save and we're going to test this now. I'll go ahead and say hello. I'm going to just say, I'm not sure, just to see how it handles it. And see, it's starting to ask me questions, give me prompts, just as an advisor would do. Just said, I love physics. Understand undergraduate is my level, but I can't afford to stay on campus. And this is a really simple use case, but you can see how this is starting to flesh out. It's, it's saying that for undergraduate studies in physics, Harvard, uh, offers a Bachelor of Arts degree in physics through Harvard College. And it's saying about finding financial aid opportunities. And there's a follow-up asking, do I want more information? Yes, I would love more information. And you can see where this is going. It's a, it's a very conversational system that allows me to really discover, in this case, what degree I want to study at Harvard University. But you can start to tailor this for many different use cases. And you can add the additional features with the function, with the code interpreter, with the retrieval uh, feature to be able to make some really interesting GPTs.